What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a dream catcher read for the sign of Gemini. Okay, Gemini, you guys are last but not least this week on the zodiac lineup. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So, take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. Okay, so. Just so you guys know, just in case you are possibly skipping over reads, um, this week I'm going to say it all through the week in every read so that way it just covers everybody whenever uh, they come across this particular reading or any of the readings um, for the month of September, okay? This is now your permanent spot, Gemini's, to receive your reading, okay? You are part of the Zodiac lineup for week two every month, okay? So you don't have to anticipate when your sign is coming up, okay? So if you want to know any additional updates that are happening with the channel, you can go on my uh, playlist and look up greetings and exclusives. And you'll see my most recent video for channel updates hyphen readings, okay? And so, there's some special updates there um, if you uh, want to know what's going on, okay, with the channel. Um, also, monthly manifestation is out for September, okay? So, if you're trying to get some things achieved or organized, um, that is what it's there for along with some uh, channel messages, of course, okay? Um, I think that's it, okay? So let's go ahead and get into y'all's reading, okay? We're doing one from the top for your energy, one from the bottom for the energy of the situation and or person, and then one energetically from the middle for the energy between you and the situation and or person, okay? So, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you guys. So we have the Emperor, okay? Aries energy. And then we have the Page of Coins, which is the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, for the situation and or person. And then we have the High Priestess, Moon Energy, okay? So, pretty nice. And that is the energy between these two cards here, okay? So, let's kind of hit these one at a time. You could have Aries in your chart. Um, or dealing with someone who's an Aries, you don't have to be. Um, I love this uh, emperor in this card, okay? It's a lot of gold uh, light here, okay, Gemini? So something, again, this is your energy, okay? Where your energy is right now, okay? Um, maybe you're thinking of someone um, in this kind of frame of mind um, as a, a boss, or maybe you are becoming a boss okay one or the other maybe you've been dreaming of gold light around you possibly okay um if you kind of think of gold i kind of want to look it up real quick if i can um which i've looked it up before but i forgot um Kind of forgot what I had found, and this was like a couple of like a couple of months ago when I looked this up. But the spiritual properties, um, of course, is like inferiority and things of that nature. But it's more about stability and peace okay um as far as the spiritual powers of gold okay 
of course, it's talking about luck as well, okay? So again, you could be headed in that type of energy, okay? Page of Coins um, is here in the middle as far as the situation and or person, okay? Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you can have that in your chart or dealing with someone in that sign. You don't have to be have to be okay someone may have to be right now as i'm doing this reading um get in where you fit in okay sorry if if that um is too much information for somebody but nonetheless um <laughs> do your thing handle your business pause and go do your thing okay um nonetheless <laughs> we do have the page of coins here okay um Possibly, I feel like this is more so about a situation than a person, okay? Um, as far as maybe you are trying to step up your coins a little bit, um, Gemini, and possibly, like I said, trying to get on this boss level, it is going to take some time to do, so you have to be willing to put the work in, okay? That's kind of been the going vibe, um, kind of like throughout this week, in a sense. It's kind of like floating in the air so it just all depends on you know what your passion is or what your goals are um right now okay we do have a uh, heart's desire reading coming up tomorrow so maybe something will come out there okay but please be advised that during the week energy can easily change especially um as far as like cross watching um maybe someone's cross watching on your energy gemini or there could be placement watching, okay? In the sense of uh, other placements in Gemini, okay? Primarily reading for Gemini's sun, but you could have um, others coming in on your energy that are like either a moon or maybe seventh house or eighth house. Um, that's very important to them. So hopefully you don't mind sharing your energy with them, okay? But right now you may be feeling like you're at the page of coins um trying to create an idea of some sort okay the outcome is coming out here with the high priestess okay um kind of following your intuition is what i'm feeling the most as far as what it is that you want to create okay you may be having dreams of like i said being a boss um, or being an entrepreneur of some sort, okay? You're just trying to figure out what venture to go to, okay? Um, nothing wrong with dreaming big, but just make sure you're staying um, within a reasoning, a re reasonable um, profession, okay? You can sky's the limit, but start off small and then work your way up, okay? But really make sure you listen to your intuition um, about what it is that you're trying to do. Okay, so let's get in to the mindful messages as far as what your main focus should be right now or is. Have one from the top and then one from the bottom. Um, the colors associated on these cards, I kind of put them with the chakras so if you're into meditation or spirituality the colors that um, I mentioned with the chakras you could need some alignment in those areas okay um, you can take both of these for yourself or one for you and one for the situation at hand or person so we have inspiration board inspiration board heart chakra and throat chakra here if I am ever feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy, okay? So, you know, in this one here, it does have love, keep calm, be happy, be confident, okay? Um, by all means, I don't know if people still do vision boy boards, okay? Um, I know that was like a pretty big thing like a couple of years ago. Um, a lot of people did scrapbooking as well, um, which is another kind of miniature scrap board um, or uh, inspiration board. Um, there's also um, some journals that you can use that you can kind of write down your ideas in. Okay. Um, 
I would highly suggest that um, in reference to kind of if you don't want everybody to see what your ideas are, what your visions or inspiration is, by all means, put it in a, in a journal, okay, and kind of keep it to yourself. So that way, um, it's, you know, all those intimate details of what you're trying to do, especially if you're worried about somebody taking your idea from you, okay? And, and that does happen, Gemini, okay? Um, I have seen it for myself. So, with that being said, let's move on to the next message. We have Dance It Out, which is another popular card with the mindful messages, okay? Um, we have Heart Space throat and third eye chakra here a little bit um i can move emotions through my body by dancing whenever i start to feel built up energy or crankiness i will play some music and move intuitively i don't have to look a certain way simply move and feel as the stress or heaviness begins to ease out of my body okay so that being said um, listening to some music and kind of dancing out. Maybe you like doing some form of like cardio um, as far as to kind of like get the juices flowing depending on what it is um, that you are trying to create for yourself as a, as a business. Um, maybe you're into choreography possibly. Um, maybe it's some type of, I don't know, line dancing that you may be doing. Um, or wanting to do um, some type of maybe choreography possibly um, is something in your wheelhouse as far as this dancing but you want to do something that's different than what anyone else is doing okay that's for someone specifically okay um, again we have three readings to go this week so we'll definitely see if it comes out the rest of the week okay but definitely, like I said, um, listen to your intuition, okay, with this high priestess being here, okay? Um, if it's mostly emotionally related, like I said, listening to something upbeat, like it says, um, and just really just exercise, kind of even if you need to use it as a distraction, um, so that way you kind of clear your head. Um, sometimes that does work. Most people, you know, work out. To relieve stress and things of that nature um try not to put too much pressure on yourself uh to do something unless you know you have a deadline of some sort but still don't allow yourself to be too stressed out okay so let's look into the possible outcome by looking at one from the top in the ge geometry deck here and then one from the bottom you can do the same thing with these as the mindful messages, one for yourself and one towards the situation. You can also um, get a screenshot of the card itself, get, uh, of the image, and use that as a visual aid in regards to your meditation if you do uh, do that, okay? So we have 35 perception, 35 perception, okay? The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it, okay? The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it, okay? So moving us beyond our comfort zone. So again, you have this inspiration board here, um, the goals and desires that you are trying to achieve, okay? Um, you need to look at it through another, another way, okay? Using your perception, looking at it from a different vantage point, looking a little bit deeper into what it is that you are trying to do and making sure what you perceive is real and take a really good deep look at it. Reevaluate things as much as you possibly can, okay? 35 equaling out to 8 is talking about balance, all right? So whatever it is 
that you are about to pursue, it will balance you and others too, okay? So next we have romantic love, okay? Romantic love. This may be for a separate set of Geminis, like I said, possibly cross-watching or some new energy, okay? If it's new energy, welcome to the channel. I truly appreciate your viewership and by all means feel free to subscribe so you know when i put out a new reading okay it says here the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover okay the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover okay so with that being said number 39 here keeping positive thoughts 39 equaling out to 12 then 3 centering ourselves okay um if love is part of your inspiration board as it does say on the imagery on the card okay um that person is possibly very supportive of what you do, okay, or what you are trying to do, okay? And so there's nothing better than having someone who is very supportive of your goals and dreams, okay? They want to lift you up, Gemini, as much as they possibly can to help you push forward. Um, and maybe they are your perception, okay, as far as helping you build this particular business, okay? So um, that is an uh, amazing um, support system for you is possibly your significant other, okay? And so they, they do it out of love for you um, and it possibly makes things a little bit easier on you um, and really does inspire you, okay? So with that being said, Geminis, that is all that I have for you guys this evening. Um, we do have three more readings for you guys this week. So until then, peace.